For at TV, the world is thinking. But, but most importantly of all, Brian kept saying, how is it that Bernie's still in that apartment? Everyone kept saying, how is it that the prosecutors have allowed him to stay in house arrest while all around him, his victims, there were suicides at this point, bankruptcies, and we became obsessed with the idea of how could we get a look at Bernie and what was going on in that apartment. So two of our top producers, Joe Ree and Lynn Tepper, went out and beat the streets and finally came back having found the keys to a vacant apartment <laughs> that looked across the way into Bernie's penthouse where we set up an observation post. And I wish we had the film to show you because much to our amazement, what did we see? There was Bernie Madoff sitting in the den of his plush decorated apartment, basically, as uh, Brian put it, doing God knows what on the internet. He had a late model Apple computer propped up in the window and he was sitting there happily having a little Perrier working on his computer. We watched for several days and for as far as we could see, he appeared to be possibly Skyping because he was talking into the machine. So this, of course, raises the question, you know, what in the world were the prosecutors thinking to allow him to be sitting here with the computer Skyping away? Uh, when Bernie would get up from the computer, Ruthie would sit down and go to work as well. So uh, the pictures that we produced that were part of this 2020 story really were sort of a shot across the bow of the uh, very, very famous and proud Southern District of New York. After the story ran, we heard a lot of rumblings. You know, have they fallen down on this case? Is this an embarrassment to them? What is going on here? And I think it's one of the interesting questions still to be mined about, you know, what has been going on with this Bernie Madoff case.